Hey guys, MWCW here. Uh, just a little quick update video. Uh, I did accept uh, the WestJet. I decided to stay in Canada for right now because WestJet actually does go pretty much all over the place. So I kind of just want to like stay here and do my thing back and forth in Canada and or into the States. They do go down here into the Caribbean, you know, Mexico, Guatemala, stuff like that. So I get to go around everywhere with WestJet. And it's a company that I could probably stay with for a good while. Until I get my next rank. Because if I'm reading this correctly, if I go into not the settings, uh, here into the help, uh, where is it? So pilot rating. So pilot rating two. If I'm rank two. Which should be first officer. So rank one, rank two, rank three, rank four, and then all this is rank five. If I'm reading, uh, regardless of the airline rank levels that you will. That will offer you jobs and see the table above. Basically, how where she can jump two levels above your rank. Only if you have a rating of of seventy or higher, but higher than seventy. If you have a rating lower than thirty five, you won't be job for. Okay, in the middle. Okay, so. So basically, I'm going to probably stay with WestJet for the most time. Because right now, I fall into the 70 to 100. And what I'm looking at here is when I level up. Ooh, ooh, excuse me. As long as I'm still around the 70 to 100. I can go into a level four airliner. Or because WestJet is a three, I can stay with them through two ranks. And then when I get to rank three, which is first officer, I can start looking at four and five stars. Uh, basically, Basically, what I'm going to end up doing. So, I'm going to see what the job offer, the jobs are offered for four stars, real quick. Or what companies are in the four stars that have the A320s and the 737s. I do have the default A310, so I could even do them. And I do have a 33. Yeah, so it'd be this one. I do have a 339. I have the headwinds. So I can even use theirs. That's some really long hauls, though. I kind of don't need that right now, as my bowling season is. Basically, the bowling season for me right now is at its peak. So, I have to be at my job more so than anywhere else. So, let's take a look at this. Let's click OK. Okay, so now we've done everything. I'm going to do it by region. Or not, by type. So, we do have Lufthansa Cargo. That is a four star. 
So when I get up there, this might be one that I consider. Uh, actually, there are A321s in the 77 Longs. I gotta take a look and see if I have the long range. But as far as like passenger flights. Aer Lingus is here. I might do that. Shamrock. But they're strictly... Now, if I have the Phoenix A320, then this is fine. I'll fly this. And I'll... See if I can get the Latin VFR A321s as well. Because I already know I have the A320s and the A320 Neo. I just got to download, for the Neo, I just got to download the uh, livery for it. Uh, we have Air Canada. So if I just want to stay in Canada even, I could do that. And I believe they do both. If I'm not mistaken. If I can remember correctly, I think they do both. Yes. Oh, well, they do the 738 Max, but still. Basically the same plane. Just a Max variant. And they also do the A320. A321s. Uh, they even do an A319. So, I might be... Looking to get other stuff. And maybe even flying for Air Canada. When I get up to a level 2. I might look at that. Or for my buddy. My good friend. Someone's son. I actually might. Really sign up for Alaska. They fly both variants, uh, the 321neo and the Boeing 737-8. They also fly the Boeing 737-9. So, and the da and the Dash 7. So, I can basically have most of their fleet and use it. Uh, if we're looking at others, I mean, we have Avianca here. We also have Dynasty. Avianca primarily uses uh, the A320s, though. Uh, China Airlines. How they run this? A couple 738s. A321 Neos. They're primarily a long range hauler, if you can't tell by the map. Out of China. Out of Taiwan. It's out of Formosa, if I'm not mistaken. Taiwan or Taipei. I was like thinking that they're out of Formosa. Oh wait, Formosa used to be Taiwan. <laughs> Never mind. I'm thinking back to World War Two. My bad, people. But they pretty much fly out of Taiwan, so we have them. We have, have even uh, China Eastern, China Southern, that I could look into. Uh, 
we also have Hawaiian, which I would probably end up doing more likely because uh, they had the A321 Neos. Okay, so maybe not the Hawaiian. Uh, I have Iceland Air. Might look at doing one of them as well. Uh, so they fly the 738 Max 8. Definitely probably fly JetBlue if given the opportunity. Granted, they're all Airbuses, but I don't mind flying Airbuses. As long as it's the Phoenix. <laughs> uh, got Jetstar here, which is Oceania. I mean, so my friend... Down in Australia, howdy mate Steven, that normally watches a lot of my live streams, I can fly Jetstar when I get up to a level 2. Uh, Scandinavia I can fly. Ultimately, I'm going to be honest with you guys, and it's just because I'm really biased towards this company, and what I mean by bias is in a good way, not in a bad way, because I am a rewards member for this particular airline, and I really have actually thought about if I was going to do that sim joining up under the this banner of virtual airline southwest now i have multiple liveries for them if i do southwest i am going to probably drop another 60 dollars or so on the 737-7 Unless by some miracle they PMDG makes the max eight by the time I get to this point. Um, what's going on here? Yes, But yep, they're basically out of Atlanta. They're out of uh Love Field. I think their main Operation is not listed here. I think their main operation is... Where is it? There's Phoenix Sky Harbor. I think that's their main base of operation. But you notice how congested this map is. And they fly 738s, the Max, and the 737. So I would actually, if I do get get a hold of this airline in my career, yeah, this this one's more my personal favorite, to be completely honest. And I have no issue. with uh buying the 737 like i said hopefully they come out with the max 8 but i have no problem buying the pmdg 737-7 and dropping another 60 plus dollars on them just so that way i can fly any of their routes primarily now i would love to have a max 8 like i said 
but I don't know how far out that's going to be. Uh, oh, actually, no, their headquarters is in Dallas. So that means it's going to be here. Dallas Love Field is their actual headquarters. That's their main operation base. But also their hub is Atlanta. So I would probably apply for this when I hit level two. And I will actually probably use in the scheduler. Uh, where is it? That's, oh, uh, well, yeah, because I did this. This is uh, my WestJet schedule. So our first flight is Toronto to Vancouver. And then Vancouver down to San Francisco. Then San Fran back up to Calgary. And then Calgary to Toronto, Toronto back to Calgary. So what I might do for this one, this might be like a Tuesday type of flight for me. If I can get there quick enough. Now, this is going to be the big question. If I can get there quick enough, it's this is what it's going to be for Tuesday's uh, video and or stream. Actually, I might end up doing this as a stream, to be honest. Actually, that's what I kind of want to do is I kind of want to do these more in a stream style than... Uh, basically, you know, video style. And like I said, if I can get, because I really don't have most, I don't really have a lot of time to edit videos and do these flights at the same time while trying to take care of my job as a bowling pro shop manager. And trying to make it there on time and not late. Like I am sometimes just because the land traffic is horrible. <laughs> but I digress. So, yeah, this might be a Tuesday stream here. This might be a tomorrow stream because it's just a five-hour flight. Uh, Monday, Monday I get off at 7. I might go in early to work on Monday and try to get off a little bit earlier. So, basically I'll do the Vancouver to San Francisco to Calgary run on Monday. Try to do that on Monday, actually. And then do Calgary to Toronto, back to Calgary on Tuesday. And then if I get home early enough on Wednesday, and I'm able to set this up, I could probably do Calgary to Vancouver Van and then to Edmonton on Wednesday. Uh, Thursday is, you know, I, more or less I'm probably going to take a break. So, more than likely this is going to be a Friday stream. Which would be Edmonton to Vancouver to Calgary. On Friday. And then Saturday, Calgary to Vancouver. Then I should reset my schedule. The thing is, is that I think payment happens. Ooh, excuse me.
I think payment happens on Monday. Let's go read the game mechanics. Job application. The airline must have jobs available. Basically, compete with other other pilots at your favorite airline. Once the jobs are filled up, you receive a message saying that you cannot fly at this moment at this specific airline. As user numbers grow within APL Universe. Okay, so that makes sense. Okay. Okay, so that happens... But yeah. So. So this gives you the breakdown. looks like of your airline ranks and your pilot rank so I do have a 30% chance or 30 I basically I have a 30% chance either way I look at it of getting on with a four-star company I have a much higher chance At uh, right now, where my rank is, I have a much higher chance with a three star. So it could be one of those things where I wait until rank three, actually, which is senior first officer, I believe. So I might be with WestJet for quite a while, unless if I just want to hop over over the pond and just do Ryanair. Who knows? So, yeah, okay, so this is hourly. So let's calculate like this, pilot rank times $5, plus airline rank times five, plus 10, plus or minus five variable. Random amounts between Minus five and plus five between decimals. This signal is displayed on your contract on your dashboard. All right. See, so, this is what I'm worried about because I know I hit number of hours with some wings. So I'm wondering how I'm going to get pay, paid out on this one. I remember it saying somewhere. Uh, this this happens every weekday, Monday through Friday. Okay, so it's probably down here somewhere.
Uh, but uh, yeah, I don't know, guys. Oh, I guess I could do that. I didn't think about that option up here. Change aircraft. So, yeah, okay. So, I could just load up any type of aircraft aircraft within the family and just change it to the 738. Gotcha. Uh, then here's twirls, maybe. Let's say where we get paid here. Payment. Oh, I'm bl I'm blind. So now that you have some it's time to get paid. Payments are handled every Monday each week for the flight completed in the past week. Last Monday night to Sunday evening. Eh. So... Basically, we're paid out every Monday. Yeah. That's a good question to ask their Discord. But anyways. Yeah, so I have like a 40% ch or 30, about a maximum 35% chance of landing a four-star at level two. I will try. For it, uh, basically, so the way how the job market works in this, uh, let's do this. Airbus A320 and the Boeing 737 family. All right, so this is everybody that flies those particular aircraft. So what it means by jobs. So Southwest right now is at the top of the list of, of course. So, Southwest Airlines offers 768 quote-unquote jobs within the universe and there's already 110 pilots on Southwest. So, something like China Eastern, for example. This is a good example. Actually, both Chinas are pretty good examples. So, they only have seven pilots, and they have 601 jobs for China, Southern and China Eastern. The likelihood of me getting on with those two airlines is very, very high compared. Basically, it's saying 35% based off of your rank. From what we were just reading. Basically. To me. That goes up. When. You have. Like less people. Let's say you have a lot of jobs. Like the China. Southern and China Eastern. and even Air China, you have a lot of job openings, but not many pilots are flying in those jobs. So I think that, I think there is an underlying system where that does bump it up a little. 
to where you're liable to get those jobs at an earlier stage than what others are than what other companies are so like for southwest for instance they have 110 positions out of filled out of 768 i would probably say southwest is probably that 35 percent line because it has a good mix of, of people in it And if we look, uh, I'm trying to find a good one. I'm trying to see if I can find. Okay, so Air Portugal. This is almost full. Scandinavia is almost full. So, for example, and even uh, Norwegian Air Shuttle and Aer Lingus are almost full. So, these companies right here that are almost full, I feel like you're going to be pushed down. As where I think maybe the algorithm gets a little bit more selective on which pilots go to it. I think it's just going to be harder to get on. And I think Lufthansa Cargo is another one that's going to be hard to get on with. That's just me. As here, we look at, there's not that many five stars. So if we look at the jobs for the five star, American Airlines is number one in the job market here. Followed by Delta, followed by United, followed by, surprisingly, FedEx. That's actually really surprising. And then Turkish, Qatari, Cathay. So like the five stars, these are really, really selective of who they really get, judging by the way how the manuals wrote. So trying to fly for one of these premier airlines, you're basically going to be set for, you know, whatever, whatever time that you are doing this with. So like for me personally, I mean, I wouldn't mind flying, flying for FedEx. If I was to look at cargoes, let's say if I wanted to do a cargo flight out of all four that have the aircrafts that I fly, actually, I think most of them are going to be the Boeing 737, but it is what it is. Let me take off the A320s. Let me just put it in the Boeing. Th this will tell us. Okay, so this is all the aircraft that has Boeings out of the 737 family. So if we take a look here, uh, let's do this by rating. Oh, I know we can't do it by reading. Okay. We will do it by region. So we have New Zealand Airwork, two star. They're almost full. So I highly doubt I'm going to get on with them. Aloha, I don't know if I can get on with because they're almost full. Because they're a one star air cargo. Uh, Yukon, I don't know if I can get on with North, Northern Air Cargo. Because they're almost full. Now, I'll be honest. I could have probably signed up for Airbridge, which is a Russian company. And the Boeings. And probably would have got on with Ease, actually. And they probably would have paid me close to top dollar. 
because I would have been the first quote unquote pilot for Russia, according to the sim verse here. Uh, AL ASL France and Belgium. I probably could have got on with Belgium. France, maybe, maybe not. Uh, Bluebird Cargo. Probably could have gone on with them as well. Same with uh, Clever. Or Cargo Air. Could have gone on with them. Uh, DHL Air UK. World Express. I pr didn't even see this. So that's kind of strange that now it's popping up. But I didn't see it when I was putting in anything. But I seen European Air Transport. Yeah. Uh, West Atlantic UK, I could probably get on with, I can get on with any of these down here with relative ease. But I would rather not. Uh, let's see where the rest of the airliners are. Uh, I guarantee you it's probably in the MD-11. Let's check the MD-11s. So, okay, so that's FedEx and UPS, of course. I was wondering where UPS was. I thought they actually had a Airbus freighter. Am I wrong? Nope. No, they do have an Airbus. Uh, they're, oh, that's right. They mainly have... Uh, Seven six seven dash three hundred freighters. That's right. So if you notice, they got multiple UPS actually has a hub in Germany, but I would probably. More than likely, I'm trying to remember what KRFD is. Real quick, KRFD, that is Chicago Rockford. That's what I thought it was. So I will probably work out Philly or Chicago. Or even out of EDDK, which is Cologne. Uh, Ontario International, I think that's in California. Yeah. So, yeah, I would even do probably uh, Ontario. Because it seems like an easy in, easy out kind of deal. And then KSDF is Louisville. Actually, I probably would do Louisville, actually, to be completely honest, because that, that's their main hub. Because I know that they have a huge... I'm going to bring this down for you. This is Louisville. All right. So the whole southern section is dedicated to UPS. All these ramps and gates and stuff, they're all UPS. Then Brickyard is over here, their maintenance facility. And then they even have more up here on the northwest side. So they do have some, they do have a land side terminal. 
but Louisville is primarily UPS. So if I ever decide to get the MD-11 that just recently came out, I would do so. Uh, actually, I think... I want to say it's Captain Sim that has a couple of these freighters. I want to say he has the 767-3, if I'm not mistaken. But I'll definitely get something like the MD-11 if I ever get up here. Uh, same with FedEx. thing about FedEx is, is that they do have the 737-8. They only got one, though, but I digress. <laughs> so they're another one that I would actually have to get the MD-11 for as well. Or the 767-3. Let me see where that one flies. Nope. So let's see. Seven, three, eight. Uh, okay, so it does fly all over, but it primarily flies in Europe. Okay. So that's their one that's out in Europe. <laughs> Which is stationed probably at. Uh, LFPG. Which, if I had to take a guess, is right here. Paris de Gaulle. Yep. So I guarantee you that one seven thirty eight is sitting right here in de Gaulle. So yeah, that would not be good. But yeah, so that's the video for the day, guys. I appreciate you. I am now a WestJet pilot. I am probably going to stay with the WestJet for a while. Just because, I mean, right now, you know, I'm still a young pilot. Stuff like that. But just... Because they do go to places in the United States. As well, they also do go out to... They go out to L.A. Viva Las Vegas. Uh, where else do they go? They do go to SeaTac. Minneapolis, Chicago, Detroit, uh, New York. They go to both JFK and LaGuardia. They go to Boston. What route is that? Why is that not coming out of Toronto? Interesting. Go down to a lot of Floridian destinations. Tampa, Orlando, Fort Myers, Fort Lauderdale, Miami. Uh, do they? Where is this Midway? Uh, let's see where they go. Let's say, so they go to the part of Vela. Okay. In Mexico, go to Hartsfield. All right, so there's a main reason why I'm kind of trying to main. There, there's a reason why I'm trying to uh, 
I'm staying on the state side right now. And eventually, I hopefully you guys will understand why here in a minute. Uh, here in a few few days or maybe a few weeks, once I finalize what I'm trying to do. And yeah, I hope y'all enjoy. Give a thumbs up and everything. Appreciate y'all. If you watched until this point, I appreciate you guys very much. Hit the subscribe button if you're not already subscribed. And I hope to bring you a lot of uh, good times in WestJet. Peace. Later. See ya.